purse, creaky floorboards, check, window closed, check. Let's do this. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is hot, it is really, really hot. So if I look a bit um, disheveled, it's hot. My hair is just a bit of a state right now because it's just so hot. I'm gonna be one of those people, I think it's just a problem with British people. We complain when it's cold, we complain when it's rainy, we complain when it's hot, we just complain about the weather. It's just a done thing. Um, especially for me because I, I don't deal with cold very well, I don't deal with warm very well, I'm very comfortable in the middle. Like usually spring is like my time to thrive and we've had an awful spring this year. So it's kind of gone straight from like winter to summer. In the space of a week we went from like 10 degrees to 25 or whatever it's going to be today. I think it's going to be like 27 degrees. Um, <laughs> so I'm a little bit flustered and I feel like my body needs to catch up. Okay, so today we're doing a River Island haul. Just a disclaimer, I was previously a River Island ambassador last year and I'm also working on a campaign for two of these pieces. I will show you them, I will let you know which ones that they are that I'm being paid to show on Instagram, not on here. And I've also been sent all of these pieces by River Island. But if you watch my videos already, you'll know that doesn't affect my opinion, it doesn't affect how I feel about the items and how I talk to you guys about them. Okay, so now that's cleared up, I think we should just get into it. Okay, the first items I wanna share with you guys are bags. So the first bag is this one. And I absolutely love it. It's a dupe for a designer bag and it looks absolutely adorable. Sorry about the rattling. Um, the zips are close together. Maybe if I do that, they'll rattle less. No, 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 just still rattling. <laughs> I absolutely love the top. It's like a ribbon that's like tied on the top. I'm pretty sure you could remove it if you wanted to. I think it looks really cute though on the top there. It's glossy as well. I don't know if you can tell if I can get it to catch the light. I don't know. The top is like patent. The rest of it isn't. And it's also like wicker here as well. It also comes with a long strap. Did I put it in here? I did. Yay. Okay. So this is the long strap. It's kind of like um, intertwined kind of faux leather with chain. The long strap is cute, but I personally like it as a clutch. I think it would look really cute with like a kind of cottage core style dress, like a cute midi dress. You want to take it like on a picnic or something. I guess you don't want to walk too much with this. I don't know about you, but like, I don't like walking too much when I'm just holding a bag like in my hand. I feel like I get a bit tired. I prefer like a crossbody or a shoulder bag, but it's quite cute if you're going to like a brunch or like a little barbecue or something and you just want to turn up and be like ah, look at my bag it is very 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 cute it's very generously sized too if you look at that i can put my whole hand in you can definitely fit a phone and stuff in there so yeah um i love this bag i think it's so cute next up we have this bag it is a another designer dupe it's like a toweling i don't know if you guys can tell that it's like a towel style and it also has the river island logo embossed on the front there it has a singular kind of small strap so that you could wear it on your crook of your arm, I think that's what you call it, like a crook of your arm. And then they also have a long strap on this one so you could wear it cross bodied like this. So it hangs like that. For me personally, I would say that the strap is a little bit too big. You can adjust it. I might give that a go now and show you what it's like, but I haven't tried adjusting it yet. Um, and then you can also detach the small strap, but you can't detach the big strap, which I think is kind of like, um, if, if I was to use this a lot, I'd want to use it as a kind of crook of the arm bag and having that big heavy strap on kind of detracts from that. So I kind of wish they were both detachable. Hold on a minute. I think I haven't checked this out properly because they only arrived in the mail like yesterday. Let me have a look at this. Okay, I was just, I just hadn't investigated properly. Let's see, hold on a moment. Oh, that is so much better. Okay. All right, catastrophe averted. My mind has been changed. So see, this is why it's fun doing it on camera with you guys so you can like actually see because um, I haven't actually worn this one yet. I've worn the white one. But I haven't worn this one yet. So I just took off the strap and I like it so much more. Like I like it so much more like this, but like looking at it, I didn't think you could take that strap off. So if you're like me and you were looking at it and you're like, that looks like an attached strap, you can officially take it off. It literally has these little, things that you can like pop on like this. Um, so you could actually even make it like long, shorter or longer if you wanted to, or just completely take it off. But I absolutely love it now that it it's, has that big long chain taken off. I think it looks so cute. Okay, yeah, I love, I love that more now. And you can even put it on your shoulder. 
uh, adorable okay yeah no <laughs> I love it now I liked it before and now I love it so you just saw me get like com completely converted it also has these little zips on the side I think it's so that you can like expand it if you want to do to put more stuff in I've left the stuffing in this just so you can see what it looks like because sometimes when you take out stuffing out of bags like these ones like fabric ones and um, they're just deflated and you can't actually see what the shape's like so yeah that is that and you just see me went you just saw me go from like 60% to like 100% in the space of a few minutes. So yeah, um, now that I've taken that long strap off, I love it. Okay, next up, let's do swimwear. So I actually picked up this piece and I just thought it was really, really cute. It's a gingham one piece with a belt, which I really like. I like the belt because you can cinch it in um, if you want. I think the sizing does come up quite generous. I do have a bikini, which I'll show you guys in a minute, but I think that the sizing does come up quite generous. I got a 12 because I am pretty much a 12 here and a 12 here, and then more of a size eight to 10 here. So um, I have to like, I have to make space for all of the curves that are going on. So I got it in a 12 and I really, really like it. I think that the color is gorgeous. It's very, very stretchy and it is quite generous. Even the cups are quite generous, which never really happens in swimwear. I just think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. And the color is just absolutely stunning. Um, and like I said, I absolutely love the belt and the fact that it's all like the same material. It looks so much more expensive than it is. So the bikini I was talking about is this one, green gingham. It's like a green kind of, it's not, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of textured. I hope you guys can see that. It's like a textured material. Um, so that's the top and these are the bottoms. I absolutely love the bottoms. I think the bottoms are some of the most flattering bottoms that I've ever worn. Is this all askew? Have I got this right? There we go. The little tie knot at the front there. I got the bottom in a size 10 and I got the top in a size 12. I'm a 32 E cup chest. Well, I think I actually might be a 30 E cup chest, but um, the 12, which is, you know, not, not the biggest size, um, fits really nicely. If anything, it's a little bit loose. So I got the size, so I could have gotten a 10 in the top, but like 12 is okay in terms of like fitting my cups in there. And then the bottom I got in a 10, and I would say, again, this is quite generously sized. I usually have to size up on my bottom because I do have a bigger bottom half. And I got a 10, which is my normal size, and they fit as well. So if you're picking up any of the swimwear, maybe get your normal size and a size down because it is very generously sized. But I must say, I absolutely love this. This is my new favorite piece, this bikini right here. Okay, so let's talk clothes. I got this blazer, and you guys went crazy for it over on Instagram. You guys loved it. So I'll show it to you more up close. This is it in all of its glory. I think I did put it in my um, new in my wardrobe video as well, if you wanna check that one out. Um, I got it in a size 14 and it is the most gorgeous tangerine blazer. I got it in a size 14, which is one size bigger than I normally get. I usually get a size 12 in blazers, but um, just so I could wear it as a dress, please do keep in mind that I am five foot two, so I can get away with wearing oversized normal tops as a dress is just because I am that short so please do keep that in mind but yeah I can wear this as a dress which I really like I've also worn it with a skirt and a little top underneath kind of like this shirt situation and it does look really really nice as well I'll add some pictures here because I'm pretty sure I put them on Instagram but I've worn it in a few different ways and I absolutely love it I love the colour and I just thought I really needed to go for something bright so I loved that bright blazer so much that I went for the um equip <laughs> okay i went for the equivalent in um this kind of aquamarine blue this one doesn't have gold buttons it has kind of tortoiseshell buttons and it is a slightly different material this material is thinner it's more like linen and i do think that it is slightly bigger to be honest i could have done with a 12 in this to even wear as a dress because it is very kind of boyfriend style oversized fit so i could have done with a 12 in this and it would have fit as a blazer dress as well but I can get away with it with the 14 it's just slightly even too big for me to wear as a dress um so please do keep in mind if you're purchasing this one that it is already very oversized so you don't really need to size up that much if you want to go for that oversized or blazer dress fit but the color is stunning I do think this blazer is more lightweight for summer it definitely feels more linen-y whereas the other one's quite thick um, so this one's a really good one for summer if you want to add some colour to your wardrobe. Also, I've just realised I haven't been telling you the prices of anything. It's because I've taken the tags off a lot of these items. So I will add them when I put the sizes on the screen. So hopefully I'd have done that for the first ones. But I'll do that for the next ones as well. Just to let you guys know the sizing and the price will be 
on the screen. <laughs> okay, next up is this Coward. This is the one that I'm doing the campaign with River Island for on Instagram, just to be transparent with you guys. But I, I need, need I say more, need I say anything, really, look at it. I am absolutely obsessed with this print it's a floral watercolor style print i hope you guys can see that it's like pastel floral watercolor and i just think it's gorgeous if you're looking for that sort of power suit to go for a girly brunch in this is it this is it or like cocktails but you want to be the one that stands out you want to be the one with like i don't know the super colorful outfit this is definitely one for you i actually styled it with a little crop top which I think is the way that I would probably style it pretty much for any occasion just a white crop top um, you could also do with like a black crop top too or you could add even more color if you really really wanted to but this is a lot I also love the fact that I would totally wear the shorts on their own like this as well and I would also wear this blazer with like a black skirt and a white top so I think that they're definitely versatile and you could, if you just wanted one of the two, you could do that as well. I'll let you know on sizing. I got a 10 in the top and a 12 in the blazer. And the blazer isn't a hard kind of crispy blazer. It's very lightweight. It's like a super, I don't know if you can tell that. It's like very lightweight blazer and it also has ruched sleeves as well, which is perfect for summer. And I think I'm going to practice styling with different things, but even with this top and like, I, I love pattern clashing and stuff. So this is like very me, but you could also style this with just a plain white blouse and some white heels. And you've got like a pop of color if you're just too scared to wear too much color. And then this, for example, over a white linen dress. So yeah, I'm going to definitely try and style these ones up in different ways and probably do a reel or something on Instagram and let you guys know but yeah I think that they are really cute for summer I must say out of the two of them the material on the shorts is gorgeous and look at that like button detail here and it's got belt loops and pockets so need I say more next up we have a few dresses so this is the first one I'm going to show you guys it is definitely cottage called dream I haven't shot with this one yet but I am planning to very very soon because I mean look at it it's absolutely stunning it's this gorgeous blue kind of aquamarine color it's got puff sleeves the material is chiffon and then it's got a short skirt at the front here that ends and then the rest of it is actually a train that runs down the back i think that this is also a really nice if you're looking for i know this year has been like a really tough year and people are still trying to get married and stuff like that so if you're looking for bridesmaid dresses that are kind of cute but aren't like that expensive this is also a really good option a wedding um, a wedding a guest option this is quite nice as well because the train means that it's slightly longer so it's a little bit more I don't know dressy I love the fact that the back is elasticated the sleeves are elasticated like this whole top part is elasticated which for me and having like a larger chest it works really nicely I got this one in a 10 and I think it looks adorable I can't wait to go out and shoot some like cottage core style content with this with like a cute basket bag and some strappy shoes some strappy sandals I think it will look really really cute um yeah I don't think I could say much more about this one because look at it it's got a train but if you're looking for like cottage core dreams this is a dress for you okay next up i have this green number a little bit out of my comfort zone but i thought i'd give it a go it's in like this satin material and it's a lovely green print it's got puff sleeves and the front is a tie front i thought i'd get this one because i do really enjoy a tie front and this is actually tie frontable <laughs> which sounds silly but some of them are fixed and you can't actually tie them this one you can adjust and tighten or loosen should you need to on your chest which is nice because it's customizable i got this one in a 10 and i really like the way it fits on me i mean it's pretty much a maxi on me it's supposed to be a midi but again i'm five foot two so it is a maxi on me it also has a lovely thigh slit which is gorgeous i think that this dress is absolutely stunning and it's definitely something different which I really like. I am going for a lot more colour at the moment. And I just think that this with some white sandals and maybe even, you know, for a barbecue, even for like a wedding, a little birthday garden party. I mean, this look is cute. So yeah, I absolutely love this one. And I think the colour, bit of a wild card, but it's stunning. Last but not least, I have this one. And unfortunately, I am just too short for this. I'll be completely honest with you guys. It is a regular maxi length and I got it because I just loved the look of it. I think the pattern is gorgeous. Look at that, like 
stunning. It's actually a wrap dress and it has all of these ruffles and the front is kind of like ruffled and you can have like a, you can make your own little thigh slit as you walk. You know, like that sort of dress. It's very beautiful. I did get it in a size 10. It fits really nicely, like genuinely really nicely, but it is a little long on me. I have to wear heels with this. If you're if you're taller than five foot two, you probably won't have to, but I do have to wear heels with this. I actually can't get away with wearing sandals, and that is probably how I would most likely wear it. But how cute, even for like a wedding dress outfit, again, a garden party outfit, a barbecue outfit. I just think it would look so cute with a pair of strappy sandals, strappy heels. So I do still really like this one, but it's definitely going to be more of an occasion dress in my closet because I do have to wear it with heels, which makes it slightly less wearable for me personally. But again, if you're not five foot two, you probably won't have this problem. So yeah, if you're looking for a wow dress that people will be like, where did you get that from? This is probably it because the pattern is just stunning. Okay, so next up I have shoes. I have two pairs of dad sandals from River Island here with me. And I thought I would share the second pair with you again, but the first pair is these and they're kind of, again, a dupe for a designer pair of shoes. They're the sort of jelly dad sandal vibe, which I love. I love that these are quite minimal as well and they're velcro at the front here they're velcro at the back here and i love the fact that they're very minimal they're very minimal like they've got a little bit of branding which is the gold bit here and the gold bit at the back but they're very very minimal i got them in a size four they are quite wide i don't know if you guys can tell that they are quite wide i do have wide feet so that's fine with me a lot of the time with dad's handles because they're adjustable as well at the front and the back here and here, I can get away with sizing down because I'm I'm spot on a 4.5. So I often have to size up in shoes, but with sandals like this, I can afford to size down because it's mostly the width for me and these have a lot of width. So yeah, these are stunning, but I also picked up these ones. These were actually in my last haul and these are, you can see, I haven't like put the thing on back there, but here you can see it a little bit better. So the detail here, you've got that, quilted padding these have a little bit more going on if you can see what i mean like they've got the quilting gold buckles gold details on this pair of shoes this is adjustable this is adjustable and this back bit is adjustable so you have three points of adjustment which means they are very comfortable because you can like custom fit them for your own foot i just think that they're really really nice i did get these in a size five which is a size bigger and to be honest with you i don't really notice that much of a difference um, I mean, I could get, I could have got away with a four, but because you can tighten all of these ones, it doesn't make a difference because I can tighten them up a little bit more. Again, I'm dead on a 4.5. So with most shoes, I just buy the size I can get my hands on. But with the dad sandals, because they're so adjustable, there isn't that much of a difference, especially with this one, because there's three points of adjustment, so you can make them fit really nicely. Okay, so next up, I have some colourful shoes. These are the first I have to share with you guys um they are gorgeous they are um just the most gorgeous i they, they're called purple online but i would say they're blue let's argue in the comments are they purple are they blue let's have a discussion um what 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 do you think what do you think because i would say that they're more blue than purple but I love the colour. It's like a sort of really nice kind of midnight blue, but like lighter, you know, like sort of like twilighty blue, which is really, really nice. I love them. I think the heel is a really nice height. I did get these ones in a five and they fit really nicely. I got them in a five for the width because obviously these are fixed. You can't adjust them. And um, I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I love the square toe. Stunning. I also picked up these ones that are quite similar in a aquamarine colour which is quite nice. You can probably compare it to these greens here, but I love them. I think that this mirrored bit at the front is also really, really nice. They've got that square toe, but it's a little bit more rounded and I love the designer vibes on the front. The heel as well is not that big. It's like quite nice. Um, they're wide fit, but I did get them in a five as well, just because I have problems with mules like this not fitting me because I do have wide feet and they fit really nicely. Um, to be honest with you, I could have gone for a four, but five fits really nicely with mules anyway. You kind of slip forward anyway so it's fine um yeah really really cute and i love the little heel i think it's just enough but it's also like really comfy and next up i got two pairs of the same shoe so i'll show you the red ones first these are i think they're supposed to be orange like online it says they're orange but like in real life they look a lot more red can you see 
I don't know, they're like tomato red, so like slightly orange, but definitely leaning more red. If I compare it with the orange blazer, can you see that? So it's slightly more red, um, but they're called orange online. These ones have got in a five, again, because they're that mule effect. Um, I would say they're really comfortable. Like these bits are like, I don't know if you can tell, but they're like squishy, which is really nice. Guys, they're super comfortable. I think that the slightly square toe is really nice. The heel is like, that it's also very very comfortable let me show you the yellow ones as well because they're basically the same apart from the fact that they have a black base to them i don't know why they did this because i feel like a yellow base would have been cuter maybe they just couldn't, couldn't design it that way i don't know i think the yellow base would have been cuter but they're essentially the same so they have the same heel and they have the same padded squishy top they also have them in different colors i will link them all down below in case you want to shop them again i got these in a size five and they fit really nicely i think i've shared these ones with you before in another haul i think but i'm going to share them with you again because i've been wearing them so much it's ridiculous these sandals they're toe thong sandals they've got kind of like a thicker sole it's kind of um rubbery and then this i don't know if you guys can tell but it's all material so it's all material none of it's like rubber or leather it's all satiny type material which i will say is amazing for your feet like genuinely i have worn these for full days they're lightweight they don't rub because they're like fabric so they're not going to rub on your feet they're not going to rub on your toes these have never given me blisters they're so comfortable i've worn them all day they're lightweight um so you don't like feel like you're like <sighs> clogging around um genuinely amazing <laughs> i hope they bring them out in like a white because how cute would that be they're very again designer-esque but genuinely i've been wearing these so much i'm getting so much good wear out of these if you want a comfortable shoe that you can wear every day like a comfortable like toe flop toe toe thong flip flop style shoe that isn't going to cut you or hurt this is it because i have problems with that and these are just unbelievably comfortable Okay guys, that's everything in today's haul. I hope you enjoyed. My favourite pieces in the haul are this orange blazer, you knew it was coming. This orange blazer, fave. Um, the black flip-flops, I would say, if you're, or the black dad sandals, two pairs in the most comfortable style shoe that I've tried. Um, and all of the black shoes that I just showed you guys from River Island are super comfortable. If you're looking for a black sandal, whether that's a dad sandal or like a flip-flop toe thong sandal, um, definitely have a look at their options because they're so comfortable and very easy to wear, very easy to style. But for me, if I've got an everyday sandal that I want to wear every day, I'm not talking heels, I'm not talking, you know, mules, I'm not talking anything like that. I'm talking about run to the shop sandals, going shopping sandals, going for a walk sandals, sandals you grab on the way out, like the ones that you're going to go for and um, you can wear with everything. Those kind of sh like those types of sandals that I just showed you, super comfortable and very easy to style. And it just means that you get so much good wear out of them. Also a mention to the green gingham bikini because my god I didn't know I needed it until I had it and then I put it on my body and I was like oh it's the colour of the season you can style it with pink as well which I absolutely love and it just looks so good on and it looks so much more expensive than it is because the material is just that nice. As always, let me know what your favourite piece in the haul was in the comment section down below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.